What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. We decided to do another Q&A this time. Wait, did we do a Q&A before? <laughs> Well, we decided to do a wedding Q&A because it's been highly requested from you guys on Instagram. I know you guys like these sit down and chit chat videos, so we're trying to do more of those. But today we're going to be doing a wedding q and I had you guys ask us questions on Instagram and we're just going to answer them as they trickle in, but I do have a couple already. If you guys aren't already, please subscribe to our channel. It would mean a lot to us. We're trying to grow this little baby. I also noticed that we're always matching in every video. The last video we wore yellow, and the previous one we wore black. Unintentionally. Unintentionally. The first question is, did you show Andy the kind of ring you wanted, or did he pick the whole thing himself? So, when we were talking about getting married, we went ring shopping together just to get an idea of what I liked because... Um, She's very particular. I'm very particular. And I asked him, I was like, if I didn't show you at all, would you have any idea what I wanted? And he said no. <laughs> when he was ready to actually propose, he went back to Tiffany's and talked to a sales associate. And he guided him the whole way. His name is Tony. He's mm -hmm. super, super nice. He's like Instagram savvy and he like, yeah. he made that process so easy. Like I, I was actually very anxious and nervous going into it uh, because it's a, it's a big, you know, big commitment, commitment a big... <laughs> decision that you have to make yeah. and he like he taught me about like what sapphires and diamonds and like the meanings behind them and like different mm -hmm. I don't know months resemble different gems and oh, Jay yeah. Jalen mm -hmm. was born in April so she's actually a diamond hey and shout out to my mama <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my parents and I was born in um, September so I was a sapphire I think yeah. sapphire is um, the one anyway the blue one yeah yeah so someone said, did you both plan to save money for this prior to getting engaged? Mm, yeah. I mean, there's... I think you have to yeah. have some kind of savings if you're going to be proposing to someone because it's a big, big, big commitment. Yeah. And because I wanted it from Tiffany's, that's <laughs> a huge burden. You also got to consider like our lifestyle too. So we travel uh, full time. So that's an expense. Um, our rent is an expense. Mm -hmm. And you know, considering like getting a ring, that's a big expense. Mm -hmm. Like uh, what Tony was saying was that when guys uh, drop on a wedding ring, that's usually like one of the biggest investments mm -hmm. um, of their lives that they, they put money down onto. Yeah. And that definitely held true for um, for me. Uh, never really had a big purchase like that um, until then. And then you pretty much had to then the even bigger expense comes with the wedding yeah. so mm -hmm. but i think one thing that we are super grateful for is being able to travel for work so all of it is covered like food hotel flights everything is usually covered so we get paid through our campaigns and we always have to like save a chunk mm -hmm. and then take into consideration like what he said for rent for our lifestyle and for the wedding now someone asked what was the dream wedding that you had in in mind both of you dream wedding i never used to be a wedding type like i never even wanted a wedding before he proposed to me i just thought the idea was like uh well, it's whatever we'll go to city hall and sign some papers but it got surreal when he proposed to me and i was like oh my gosh i've always wanted to host dinner parties and birthday parties and i was like this would be fun if I planned a wedding and it would be cool to celebrate and then it just became like a reality for me but I didn't necessarily have like a dream wedding yeah. what about you me neither no? I just no do y'all plan to have kids <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> I just, want two kids I think two is cool one girl one boy it could be both girls or both boys I think just yeah um not not gender Specific. specific yeah yeah what have been the challenges with wedding planning do you have a budget so when we first started planning we had a set budget but it kept increasing because of the style wedding that we wanted initially we didn't want a san francisco wedding like we said in the previous video but after seeing the venue we were like yo oh we didn't even announce it we didn't even announce it yet oh yeah we secured our venue <laughs> If you guys haven't, please check out our last video where we talk about wedding venue hunting. We secured the venue yesterday and I'm so excited. We have our date set already. 
August 2020. Going back to the original question, we did set a budget and then it kept increasing because when we were looking at venues, especially that specific one, we were like, well, we pretty much fell in love with it and we wanted to make it happen. So I think the venue takes up the biggest chunk of our budget and we didn't anticipate the wedding to be this expensive, but I mean, it is what it is. Like it's, it's a huge celebration for us. Like not only to celebrate our marriage, but Andy was saying like to celebrate us what just like a celebration for us getting out of Oakland and being in New York and just celebrating life and being with our family because that's super important to us was just having a place where all of our family can come together and um, kind of celebrate the occasion with us right yeah. yeah it's it's a big it's a big celebration we're big on celebrating like yeah. we just we would throw parties for like us dropping videos but we just celebrate by like ordering food on postmates or something yeah but that's we you know these little small um celebrations are something we've always sort of believed in we used to mm -hmm. go out like you know once a month on our every month anniversary every month anniversary yeah. and then and then like you know every yearly thing so we always made it um a thing because i don't know i never really had nobody to do that with yeah um mm -hmm. growing up so it's cool that we get to celebrate together this is like our excuse for one big grand celebration <laughs> because yeah. we just don't ever and i love hosting like i've always wanted to throw parties all the time but yeah. it just never happened so this is like the big thing for us and i'm pretty happy with it I'm really yeah happy with it too. are you guys having a big or small wedding congrats by the way so happy for you guys thank you so i would say our wedding is considered pretty small Right? We have about 120 people on our guest list invited, but I don't necessarily know the percentage of people who are going to attend. So I would say 100 to 120 is our guest list. I think that's small, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it's small. <laughs> well, small would be like 50 though. Oh. Small would be 50. So maybe this is like my medium or like sh medium. Sh medium. <laughs> sh medium. Because I know some people have like 300 plus or like, you know, the very traditional um, weddings that yeah. are like three days long and it's mm -hmm. like over a thousand people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a big celebration, but. We have a really tight circle. Yeah. Um, I don't really know a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or the same question, do you have a budget slash how do you ignore the people judging how much you're going to spend? So we had someone say to us that because it's just family, we have nothing to prove and why are we spending so much? But like we were saying earlier, it's more than just spending a lot of money on this occasion. It's bringing together our family and celebrating life and just being with everyone at the same time. I think that is more meaningful than what money can buy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, be we I mean, are buying it, but it's just more meaningful to have everyone there, yeah. right? Because we could have, because we could have done it in New York, yeah. um, but then like some of our family members like probably wouldn't be able to make it out here. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people. Um, and mm -hmm. we wanted to do it in a location, like we could have done a destination yeah. uh, wedding as well, but we decided to do it in San Francisco. Okay, what is your theme? You know this. <laughs> Initially, we wanted a barn style rustic wedding, you know, the whole lights in a mason jar and like farmhouse tables. But the wedding venue that we initially inquired, they don't allow hard liquor at the venue. It's just wine and beer, right? Mm -hmm. So we're like, mm, we gotta have the hard liquor if it's gonna be a big celebration like this. So we decided to check out the um, Weston in San Francisco just to kind of look at it and that's the place that we fell in love with and so we're switching from the more rustic theme to more luxury modern and he really likes the modern interior and I like the more luxury side of it so I think we're just gonna keep it a little bit more classic so um, I don't know like looking back at it it will be kind of like a timeless mm -hmm. piece I think we've been right. really good clients too because uh, her sister is a wedding planner and she's, she's been helping us with everything. And shout out to uh, JL Events. But anywho, she said that on average her clients oh, probably yeah. visit maybe two to five uh, venues oh, she, before they her log. Her last one was six to seven. We looked at two. <laughs> we inquired about three and we mm. looked at two and we decided on that one just because we loved it so much. Yeah, it's like <laughs> instinct. Yeah. yeah. Will you be filming the wedding video on YouTube? 
Hell yeah. Oh yeah. This is like going to make a movie out of it. <laughs> so I'm going to recruit um, like three shooters, like some of the best. In recruit? The yeah. <laughs> You're going to have live auditions? Yeah. I'm about to recruit. I'm about to get some solid creators, um, solid photographers, you know, because we, we've been in the industry for so long. Like when we first like started our businesses, like it was in the wedding business. So we know a lot of people. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, because he was a wedding videographer. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. have a lot of friends in the business, so yeah, uh, they've been hitting me up, just like, hey, like let me know, mm -hmm. and it's been it's been dope seeing, um, you know, our friends and family just pretty much like being offering, so yeah, being super yeah. supportive, offering their services up, and it's like we're just. Right now, we're just sort of uh, taking it all in, mm -hmm. and then uh, making decisions as we as we uh, go. Yeah, I think the only thing we're missing is a florist. So mm -hmm. if you guys know any florists mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, yeah. please shoot us a DM. And chair rentals, like we want the super <laughs> luxury. Sh is it Shavari? I actually don't know the name, but it's it's oh Infinity Chairs. If you guys know any chair rental companies and florists, please let us know. Are you guys gonna do vlogs on your wedding preparations? Oh yeah. <laughs> the vlogs have already begun. We started with the wedding venue hunting. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much part two of the wedding series. The next thing we have to do is just the fun stuff, pretty the much. Tasting. Cake tasting, yeah. menu tasting, mm -hmm. dress shopping. Ooh. Tuxedo shopping. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Will you have a wedding party and what are your colors? I do have a wedding party, although we're not doing a ceremony. And I've said this a couple of times just because I felt like it's not, it's kind of weird for me to recite your vows in front of a crowd. Like I feel like that's so personal and special. Like mm -hmm. if we had a ceremony, it would be me and Andy in another country with an officiant, just us two reciting our vows to each other, not to a crowd, you know? And I'm very introverted in that way, so I just feel like there's no need for that if it's not us two only. We are still gonna have a wedding party just to do everything else, like the batch party, do the grand entrance with us and take pictures. We already have our parties. There's gonna be four on each side. I have my four members, he has his four members. And for color-wise, I don't know if we necessarily ever talked about it, but I think I really like the idea of doing like for the girls, either like silk or satin burgundy dresses or like blush pink just to have it more like classic. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like what would you want your colors to be? Uh, anything you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. He I'm doesn't cool. have a preference. No preference. But yeah, we haven't done our bridal proposals yet. So that's going to be another video to this wedding series. Um, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. We're yeah. actually putting something really cool together for our, our uh, yeah for our, for our eight. Yeah. So I mean, they know who they are. We just kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine do. Yeah. Like I've already called them my bridesmaids and maid of honor, maids of honor. But I haven't. They don't. I never officially asked. So that's gonna be a separate video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you planning the wedding yourself, or do you guys have a wedding planner? My sister is a wedding planner, fortunately, <laughs> and we're super grateful for her. I call her at random hours During of the, the day morning. when she's sleeping. I'm grateful for her. Been... Be sure to check her out on Instagram at jlevents underscore. Yeah. She it. travels. What's your splurge items for the wedding? I think the venue was a splurge item because it was a lot. I think it was a lot. Mm. Do you think it was a lot? Um, or would you splurge on something else? I probably splurge on shoes I probably, i'm probably oh, gonna get yeah. some shoes that like i usually don't spend well i usually don't spend that much on shoes anyway so i do i love shoes i love shoes so that's not new can relate <laughs> <laughs> for me my splurge item would probably be my dress if anything the designer that i want galia lahav you're watching this <laughs> the dresses are like ten thousand dollars and by berta uh berta galia galia oh damn if i'm gonna wear their dresses i gotta know how to pronounce their names Ooh. yeah oof i'm sorry Let me get my suit from h and wow Shout out no to H &M. I sponsored this oh that also answers the where are you shopping for your dress i'm probably gonna do it in the bay area because they have a bunch of couture boutiques there and i want my bridal parties to be with me since they're already out there um have you had any disagreements yet 
Mm, the only thing that I can think of is the venue because when we went, and you guys would see it in the previous video, but there were two venues on the same floor. One was the bigger room and one was the smaller room. We love the smaller layout, but I just thought that we would do the bigger room just to have more space, but it is uglier and he didn't want that. Yeah. So we decided to go with the smaller room and that, that was the only disagreement we had. New York style, cramped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the dress code. What would you say? Black tie formal? Right? Uh, wear whatever it's nice to you. What if jeans and a white tee is nice to some people? That's nice to some people. <laughs> no, you have to say like dress code formal or black tie or cocktail, you know? Black tie then I guess. Black tie is the most formal, so probably that one. Oh, I don't even know. The <laughs> prenup! <laughs> A prenup question mark? <laughs> the only reason why I know about it is because of Kanye. I don't know, probably not. I think we're like life lifers. Yeah. So someone asked on Andy's page, what's the average cost? Vague, I know. Um, I feel like wedding budget is entirely up to how much you want to spend and how much you're willing to sacrifice and all that yada yada depending on the venue and stuff. But I think for like a fancy wedding, the average cost is about 300 per person. Um, and New York is 600 per person. Just to give you guys a rough estimate. It is a very expensive wedding. That is the general question without answering exactly how much. But yeah, we're gonna answer two more questions before we go. One of the questions is what kind of wedding band would you wanna get? I want just the matching band. It's the Tiffany Celeste and he found the wedding band that he wanted recently, mm -hmm. which is... A Roly. No, uh, you didn't say that. Uh huh. It's the same size. <laughs> it's not the same size. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want, well, just the Cartier ring, but probably just in like platinum. And then last the question. last question is, what about the wedding are you guys most excited about? Well, it's gonna be peak, uh, like, 10 years, month of August, yeah. when we met, like, big time, like, yes. big time, like, full circle type deal. So, I think we're just excited for the, the time. Yeah. Um, it's 2020, mm -hmm. uh, we're at, you know, the stages that we're at in our lives, and we get to celebrate that with everybody who's meant a lot to us mm -hmm. and who's, um, you know, contributed in some way, shape or form to, to the development of us and our lives. So it's going to be cool to be able to round everybody up and just to show them um, how much they mean to us. Yeah. I think that's going to be, that's probably going to be one of the biggest things. Um, that you're most excited about? Most excited. Yeah. yeah. I think the same for me. It's just being able to celebrate with everyone. I love gathering our families and just being with them. Yeah. yeah, that is pretty much it for this wedding Q&A series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. There's definitely a lot more to come in this series, as you guys know. Again, if you guys are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. That would mean a lot to us. Yeah, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.